Yeah. All right, my rock hound and friends, how's everybody today? This is going to be my 11 pounds of January polished rocks. Got a lot of stuff. Still got some stuff from Elena Atkins. Some more from Clint. Some from Back Country with Sean. Some stuff I found, jelly beans. Some stuff out my collection that I bought in 2002. Some regular stuff. Another piece out of the collection. I think that's Bird's Eye Jasper. Got a few things with some silicone on. We can take a look at them. Got a few Crowley Ridge. And some unknown agates. We'll probably take a look at a few of them also. All right. Let's get to looking at them. All right. Got a chunk of bird's eye jasper out of my collection. That I tried. It was a lot bigger than this. I, I, I didn't know. I, I, I didn't want to polish it. And I didn't know what to do with it, really. And I decided just to polish it. And it kind of got a lot smaller. But it's still pretty cool. It polished up pretty nice. Got a little Montana. I just threw the whole thing in the um, tumbler. Came out pretty nice. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Let's see if we can take a little look at it. Maybe a little brighten up a little bit. Not too much, huh? But it's it's cool. It shines like glass and it's got a lot of a lot of good stuff in it. And this was that one I cut in half. I did the other the other half was in last month's um polished rocks. But this is the uh, this is a pretty cool piece too. I almost cut this off, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. It, it, it don't look that bad, but I, I'd have lost a lot of this other stuff down here if I did. So I left it on there. It still looks pretty good, I think. Another piece. I think this is Sukul Creek or Sucker Creek or something like that. They call it. The ones with more blue on it is what is is a better rock. But I like you know this one here. It's okay. It's got a little bit of blue, but it, it still shines. That, that stuff shines like crazy. Okay, I think this is Mook Jasper. Looks pretty good. Some of the, like I got some more more purple. I'm getting to their all purple stuff, but I like the kind of mixed in look like that. That's pretty cool. My pile of red this month was very, very small. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think there's hardly no red in there at all. But we do have this little cool snow cap red. That probably would look good wrapped somehow. This was a weird rock. I don't know where I got it from, but it was, I thought it was pretty cool. It looked like a red and yellow. I didn't know if it was wood or something or just a red, red, red and yellow jasper or something but it polished like crazy for like two thirds of the rock and then when you get to the other side this stuff here would not polish at all I don't know what it is but it ain't the same as the other side of the rock it still looks cool though a couple unknown black stuff but they look cool especially this one here came out nice This is a couple of pieces that Clint had gave me. Rosebud Agate from New Mexico. It's nice, but it has a has a little sand there that doesn't polish, but there ain't nothing you can do about it. It's kind of pitted up, but it's some cool stuff. One more piece of it. A couple little broken pieces of it. It's nice. And a piece of Moroccan seam agate. This stuff is real nice. I got some better pieces of it than this, but I like this one. I probably should have cut the back off of it all. I thought it might a little bit of agate might come through when we polish it, but it didn't get to it. But that stuff is nice. Alright, this stuff is from Back Country with Sean. He sent me some stuff a while back. I'm still getting stuff out the box. It's been a, it's a, he had a lot of stuff he had sent me. It's a nice little um, calcedony agate there. Got a little light lines in it, but not bad. This is a nice little pet wood. A 
This is a big chunk. Look like some kind of agatized wood or something. I don't know. It had gold flakes in it, but they kind of went away. Not sure what this is, but it's really cool. It polished up incredible. Lots of lines and stuff in it. I don't know. It's nice though. Last two from um, Back Country with Sean. Some kind of little Cal Sudney thing. And a piece of pet wood that broke off. Agatized wood, I guess. All right, the next dozen or so of these will be from Marlena Atkins. Um, she sent me another box, a big old box of stuff, and I've been putting stuff on. This This looks some kind of, I think it's pet wood. I'm not sure, but it's nice. This is some agatized wood here, a little piece of it. looks cool, polished great. The rocks are cold. And I'm um, sweating on them a little bit. Another piece of pet wood. Came out nice. Two more pieces of pet wood. This one kept a little bit of the white on it. Uh, I put most. I put it in um, acid and got a lot of the white off, but some of it stayed. This is a nice piece of agatized wood. I like that one. This is a piece of wood here. I had, had a lot of crazy angles on. I cut it down to kind of a ball looking <laughs> shape and it came out real nice. I don't know. I like it. I cut all the angles off of it and it came out nice, man. I think this is wood. I'm not sure. It's got a lot of stuff going on. I don't know. It's nice. I like it, whatever it is. There's another piece of wood that came out nice. It, had all, it was all white when I started it. That is nice. Shines up nice. I think I'm glad the white stayed on there. Some of the white stayed on there. It makes it look cool, I think. Another piece of pet wood from Marlena. Nice stuff, real nice wood. This was another big chunk she had sent me. I had to cut it down a little bit because it had some crazy angles on it and points, but it came out. I think I got it just right. It came out nice. And it polished great. I like this piece, big piece. This is the last one from Marlena. It was a piece of sea maggot she had gave me. I thought it was a little bit too thin to, to polish. I thought it would break apart. I didn't cut it at all. I left that long piece on there. I figured it would knock it off and it'd be fine. It never went, it never knocked it off, though. It just stayed there. But this stuff is nice, whatever it is. Few pieces of amethyst, light light amethyst, but it's pretty cool. All right, got a giant jelly bean here, and Melody had got on me a little bit last time about not showing the jelly beans because I had too many of them. I said there's just a bunch of jelly beans right there. She said to show them, so I'm gonna show them this time. There you go, Melody. These things polish incredible. And some of, the, some of the lighter ones glow like crazy on the beach. Yeah, these things are nice. And some nice white and off-white quads. I guess this is a low calcedony egg, and I don't know. It's got a crystal face inside of it. 
but it's just plain. It was really cool. And this was one that was on the Stud and Dud show a while back. I said it would look good polished, and I think it does. I like the way it looks. Just a weird rock, but it had a lot of colors on it. And this is, I don't know if it's a fossil or what, or I guess it could be an egg. It's got all the egg lines on it. And I don't know if it's a water line or what in there, but. It looks, I guess that could be an agate. This is a little eye agate. I found that out on the beach. We don't have a lot of them here, but we got a few of them. But I had a little silicone on it. I didn't remember why. I just pulled it off. And that's why they got a nice crystal pocket inside of it. Needs to be cleaned a little better, but I mean, and got a little rubber left on in there. But that's nice. That is a nice agate. These were two repolished agates that I had in, in my old collection. It came out a lot better. A little eye agate and a regular one, I think. All right, this is another eye agate I found out there on the beach. I had a pretty good crack, and I was going to silicone it, but I, I decided not to because it was kind of a big crack. And I'm glad I didn't because what it did, it knocked out some of the, the loose pieces, and it opened it up to a, a big old crystal pocket on the inside. I mean, I think it looks good. Uh, some people might disagree with me, but I think that looks really cool. I think it's focusing, huh? Yeah. But yeah, it knocked a few pieces off where you can see the inside of the crystal pocket. That's pretty cool, I think. All right, this is some kind of little agate looking thing, I think. Um, it had a betroidal pocket, kind of. Uh, I'm out of focus, I think. Hold on. It had like a Bochardo pocket in there. I thought I wanted to try and save it. I didn't know if it was worth it or not, but I think it came out pretty good. It's still got that pocket, and it's polished up nice. I think it looks pretty good. This is another little agate looking one. It has another Bochardo pocket on the back side of it also. I had it covered, and it kept it pretty good. When I clean that up, it ought to come out looking a little better. Hey, this is just a cool looking little rock with a big crystal pocket in it. And I covered it up and it stayed pretty well. Nothing great, but some of these are just experiments to see if it will stay on. And this one stayed on pretty good. I like it. Okay, we're going to finish it up with a few Crowleys. That's a nice one. This is almost a jelly bean crowd here. Perfect. That's a little pink one. We got some nice colors in it. This one was a repolish. It was one I've been having. It didn't have a good polish on it, but I probably redone it. And it came out a little better. And this will be the last one of the show. I found this one not that long ago. I don't know, Boca Chitta. It looked like a good polish or a cutter, so I went with the polish instead. And it's not bad. The white's going to get in the crack sometime. Ain't nothing you can do about it, but that's pretty good. Alrighty, thank y'all for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll have another one coming soon, thank y'all.